Hello everybody, I'm Giselle and today I drew Minecraft mobs as cute characters. I drew the mountain goat, the mushroom, the bumblebee, the uh, the snowman, snow golem, the enderman, the creeper, and the iron golem. First off was the mountain goat. Um, I decided to base her off of like, you know those middle-aged women that do mountain climbing and they take those super nervous photos so they don't really know how to smile and like stuff like that. Like I just kind of wanted her to be very like um, disconnected and stuff. But my issue with that is that whenever I've gone hiking like with my mom and stuff or whatever else, like just on a walk in an area that is more uh, like over the top, the people that go there are going there to like take it seriously or whatever. I feel like people dress really horrendously. So I didn't want to dress up too much, but I did give her um I don't know. It's like the it's like a style of fashion I've seen on TikTok a lot. Um like Lana del Recoy, you know, like <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And that's why originally I was gonna give her red and white clothes, but I switched it over to pink because I felt like it matched her skin tone and her hair colour a little bit more. Um, the colour palette for everything but her clothes was kind of like, I would match from the mountain goat, uh, the Minecraft mountain goat thing, and then I'd just kind of turn it into a thing that would look nice for this drawing in particular, because uh, colour picking straight from a source is usually not the best thing to do. Um, here's the finished drawing. I really like this one. It's more simple than some of the ones I do later, but it's definitely good, I think. <laughs> I hope. Um, so next up I did the mushroom. I like this one probably the least out of all of these drawings. Not because of the design, more because of the um, drawing itself. Um, I didn't want to make her just like a cowgirl with mushrooms growing off of her, so instead I decided to make her like this witchy little creature with inspirations from, um, what's the name, Mr. Tomness from Narnia. Um, I tried to give her color palette the whole like red and white thing. When I when I say white, I use cream. I think white doesn't really suit the other colors I use in my art. Um, I wanted to make her dress super like quilted because I thought that would kind of, at the very least, tie back a little bit to like cow spots, you know. Um, and then obviously she has her horns and her ears. Uh, when I was doing this, I was kind of scared that the rest of the drawings would like fall into this weird little pattern where I'm giving them ears. So this is the last one I'm pretty sure that I give ears to. Um, I didn't really know how to draw her skin. I wanted it to look like fluffy like a cow, but I didn't want to make it just like she's a furry, you know? Um, overall, I think it's cute. I like putting little heart spots, but not really my personal favorite. Um, <laughs> which I guess just says good things about what's to come. Um, next up, we've got the Enderman girl. And the bee. Um, I didn't draw the bee as its own separate drawing because I felt like it needed to be smaller and I wasn't going to do a whole page worth of chibi stuff because I don't like drawing in that art style so I just did her hair with the Enderman girl. Um, this one, I don't know how to feel about it. I used a, a tool in the drawing app I use where it makes things like glow, I guess. And whenever I've used that previously, I felt like it kind of ruined a drawing. But I kind of had to for her because she has glowing eyes and stuff. Um, so I'm kind of just crossing my fingers and hoping that it's not my brain telling me this looks good when really it looks bad. Um, my idea for her was basically just like this super, sorry, <laughs> this super like shy forest lady. So I covered her in leaves and I made her very like sneaky, you know? I Her mouth is inspired by salad fingers, I'll say it. I draw that mouth all the time in so many drawings and it's always just because I like salad fingers and I want to put his mouth on everything. Um, so my thought was that the bee was like, obviously since she gets to fly around everywhere, she knows everyone's business. And I thought since the Enderman girl is a bit more of a recluse, she's a bit nervous, she's a bit shy. She can be friends with the bee because then they can like, you know, they can give her all the information. The bee can tell her all the hot gossip, you know? Um, I did the little eye stretching photo in the corner because I've seen art like that before and I always thought it looked really really cool but I was too nervous to do it as like a full drawing because I didn't want to like spend so much time on a drawing that wouldn't turn out good because I've never really done much with like, with like expression or like facial movement to any degree really. Um, even though I don't like drawing chibi characters, I did have fun with the bee. I didn't want to give her antennas because I was kind of feeling hateful about the fact the last two drawings both had animal features. So instead I decided to give her these little like ribbons that float up similar to antennas. 
Um, which now that I look at it, she has wings, so that a uh, rebellion <laughs> wasn't really worth very much. Um, yeah. <laughs> I also kind of didn't want to go too crazy with the Enderman's clothes. Normally when I draw, my favorite part ever is choosing clothes and making them really detailed and over the top. But I felt like um, since Enderman in the game are just kind of this one big block of cap color with eyes on it, I didn't think she should have a very... Um, like over the top outfit. I even felt a little bit bad about making the flowers on the outfit obvious. I thought maybe I should have just given her a plain black dress and put it in like a different color of black than the one I use on her skin and her hair. But um, you know, I don't want her to look naked so I didn't do that. Um, and I also think it kind of ties into the whole nervous thing. I used the glow tool to add pollen to the bee so it like carries over and it doesn't feel like unbalanced or anything. Um, yeah, that's the drawing. And then I did the creeper. <laughs> this drawing is very, very simple. Um, I didn't really, it feels like a very empty drawing to me, but I kind of like it. I also like that when I was in the like shitty little sketch phase of this drawing, the cats both looked like old withered men. I really love that. Um, I kind of wanted the creeper girl to look like, um, See, <laughs> I don't want to say any stereotypes, but you know when you're watching a movie about France and they're like super snooty French woman? I wanted her to be like that, so I gave her the little French bob, obviously, and I wanted her to be super like icked out by the cats, because you know how um, in Minecraft creepers run from cats. Um, and so I gave her clothes, they're not like stereotypical French clothes, I wanted her to look like cute and fun, and I also... Um, I feel like this is a bit of a theme, but I didn't want to give her super big detailed clothes because similar to the Enderman, she doesn't really have much going on. Um, the little face, I decided to do her mouth in that way and like her eyes super big and round because I was thinking about like the most iconic part of the creeper is the little face. When you see, if you search anime creeper right now, you'll see a bunch of girls wearing green hoodies with a creeper face on the top, because that is like the signifier of creepers. So I tried to make it like a humanifi humanified version of the creeper face. Um, and then her color palette is just a bunch of different greens and whites because that's what the creepers is in the thing. And I decided to give her freckles both lighter and darker than her skin tone because I thought that made sense considering the creeper is like super spotty. And I didn't want to give her spots all over her body because I thought that would look a little too janky. Um, and then I also put a little like, I don't know what it's called, like the end of a bomb with the little string that like lights on fire. If you've ever played Angry Birds, you know what it is, but I decided to put that on her so it's like she's about to explode because, you know, that's <laughs> it's what she does in the game. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was the creeper. Um, I don't know. She's a lot simpler than the others, so I feel like I'm not as proud of it, but <laughs> honestly it does look nicer than some of my other art, so maybe I should try to stop overcomplicating stuff. Um, yeah, here's the finished drawing of that. Oh, oh, oh god, I forgot to mention her necklace of clocks on it, because obvious. Um, <laughs> okay, and then we have the Iron Golem. Okay, um, for this one in the top, you can see from like the original little like splat of where I'm gonna put things drawing, I wanted to have more than one bird that she was looking up to, but I landed on just one. Um, so I decided my idea for this drawing was kind of that she, you know how you, okay, <laughs> okay, I need to get myself straight. All of the other mobs kind of already exist, right? They're born from their parents the same way as animals are in real life, but iron golems and snow golems are a bit different because they're kind of built. So I decided to make it that she was sleeping and then she kind of came to life. So I wanted to have her sleeping and then I wanted to have her like alive and looking like she's kind of exploring a little bit. I didn't really, um... I kind of want to draw her again because I want to show her being a bit of a like very like gentle and slow little lady that's like discovering the world and stuff because she's really silly and she's all friendly and nice um and then so the iron golem has plants growing off of it but I didn't want to just put vines all over her um I don't really like how that looks I've drawn things like that before and it always ends up looking a bit messy because of the way I draw plants um so instead I decided to make her jewelry like that really intricate intricate you know, uh, plant jewellery you see on Pinterest where it's got like a bunch of different beads and they look like pomegranate seeds and like stuff like that. And then obviously the hair clip of the butterfly. Um, 
I tried to make her look a little bit like bigger, like a little more muscular since she's protecting the village, but I'm not very good at drawing that. I've only started practicing that stuff recently, so <laughs> you know, I'm still learning. Um, yeah, so there's also like the tiny little detail, there's golem syrup I think I wrote on the bottles, and that's supposed to be like what brought her to life. Um, I wanted to give her freckles, I was considering giving her like cracks on her body as well because obviously she's made of iron, but I felt like freckles made more sense, like the iron's like withered or old or whatever. Um, then for the bird I did a pigeon, which I saw these pink pigeons and I was gonna do it like that because I've seen one of those before, I've seen one in real life, a pink pigeon, and everyone told me I was imagining it, but I know the truth. Um, but then I didn't because I feel like it would have been overwhelming. So, yeah, that's the Iron Golem. Um, <laughs> pretty straightforward, honestly. I don't think I came up with anything too crazy for her design. Um, then there is the Snow Golem. I wanted to do two different Snow Golems because if you've played Minecraft before, you'll know that when you make a Snow Golem, golem you do two snow and a pumpkin, I'm pretty sure. And then once it's made, if you get shares and you share it, its head pops right on off and it's got a silly little wacky face under there. And, you know, I said earlier I like drawing the Salad Fingers face, and, you know, what does that snow golem look like? It looks like Salad Fingers. So, I decided I would give one of them a pumpkin head, and one of them was going to be Salad Fingers. One of them was going to have a little Salad Fingers head. Um, I decided I was originally planning on giving them, like, big puffy jackets and stuff like that, like winter clothes. But I decided it kind of fit more with, like the type of art I like to do to just give them very layered dresses. So I tried to include as many different like materials and textures and patterns as I possibly could and kind of layer them up like crazy a little bit. I think the one on the left that has the silly little salad fingers face definitely is more layered than the other one, but um, she's got the pumpkin so she can be warm that way, you know? Um, for the pumpkin, I gave it a bit of a silly face because you know, there's the obvious headcanon there of like, why is it wearing a pumpkin if it's got a face? Must be nervous, right? So, <laughs> I tried to make the pumpkin look a little scared, you know, like someone's gonna take their pumpkin from them, they're gripping on. Um, which I think worked. Um, for the hair and clothes, I wanted to give it like, different shades of white, basically. But I ended up adding in some like, light orange too. Um, I definitely... My issue is that I chose a cream colour and I thought maybe I could go lighter cream or like darker cream, but darker cream does just turn into grey, and so I didn't really want to go that way and I thought may as well just match the pumpkin. Um, I showed that to my sister and she said it looked like yellow snow, like someone peed in them or something. Um, but you know, <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that. Um, so yeah, that's the snow golem drawing it's about to show. There you go. There it is. Um, <laughs> I really like that one. I think it's probably also one of my favorites along with the mountain goat girl. And here's all of them. Um, like I said, mountain goat's definitely my favorite. I think my least favorite is easily the mushroom. Uh, creeper, enderman, and iron golem. I don't really... <laughs> I don't hate or dislike. They're there. They're all middle tier together, you know. And then I also like the snow golems. Um, I hope you like this video. I, <laughs> I've never like spoken properly before. I've done like one video where I recorded the audio on my phone, so I'm pretty nervous. Um, <laughs> I'm doing this all in one long take because I don't think I'm just gonna. If I hear this before I like finish all of the takes, I'm just gonna delete it and restart, delete it and restart every single little take I try to do. So um, I hope this was okay, and I hope you liked the video.